Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all? Good afternoon. I'm doing good, my dear ones. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. In the previous session, we have completed understanding and solving the exercises of lesson number 15, right? Hope all of you have completed the notes neatly yeah. in your textbook. Yes. yes. All of you have done it, right? I yeah, have yes. sent the notes already in the group that day itself. Oh. Did you go through them? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So today we are moving ahead with the next exercise. And for that, I want all of you to be on page number 31 of your textbook. Page number 31. The exercise that we are going to understand and solve today is reading comprehension. Reading comprehension R4. We have done such similar exercises earlier as well. Wherein a picture will be given to us. What we need to do is observe the picture. Observe means go through it very carefully. Not just look at it. Observe it means look at it, understand it, and try to get the answers for the questions asked there. While reading the questions and the options, you need to be very careful at that also because the options may be confusing. They may appear to be similar, but some of them are wrong. Out of four options, only one will be the correct answer. So if we need to get the correct answer, we need to be careful as well. Okay, we have done this before, so you may be having some idea, definitely having some idea, right? In standard one also, we have done such exercises. Do you remember solving the reading comprehension exercises? Yes. Okay, so let's begin. Let's begin. Ready? Okay. Nihil. Evina, Siddhi Vinayak, Santom, Bhageshri, Haya, Android. Please switch on your videos. All of you. Yes. Okay. Picture one. Reading comprehension for picture one. Have a look at it. Observe it carefully. Picture one. Ready? Okay. Meenakshi, unmute and read question number one. A dragon in the picture has dash come out of the mm -hmm. mouth. What is this word? This mouth. Coming. Coming, not come. Coming. Coming. Out of its mouth. Read the options one by one. Don't be in a hurry. Option is fire. Hmm. Option B, smoke. Option C, water. Option D, food. Water. 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 Option C, water. water. Rrr, sound is not needed. Water. Smoke. Mm, the correct answer is option B. Smoke. Smoke, yes. Let us go back to the picture once again. See, this thing that you see here, cloud-like image. This is nothing but smoke. Do you know about dragons? Have you read about or watched the movie Jurassic Park? Yes. Yes, there. Dinosaurs are shown, right? Some dragons also were there, the flying ones. The dragons have wings. Did you see this dragon also has two wings? Yes, dragons have wings. And they emit fire, fire. That is how the smoke is coming out of its mouth. 
see what is this coming out of its mouth it is smoke smoke the correct answer is option b let us write it here in the bracket as well option b and we need to write the correct answer in the blank space smoke the dragon in the picture has smoke coming out of its mouth smoke okay thank you meenakshi advait pm read question number 2 the animals the animal in the picture can dash okay fly no option no option a. a yes 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 option a fly mm -hmm. option c both option a. b read it in order option b and run option r u n run run, mm -hmm. run option c both a and b b mm. no of no 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 option d option d mm. no mm -hmm. none n o n e none none those none of these none of these mm. none of these okay here the options are given in a little tricky way so i will explain them to you okay option a fly option b run must be clear to you all right they are given yes. in a very clear way but option c tells us that both a and b that means both the words fly and run are correct option c tells us that both fly and run are correct we all have seen that option a is fly and option b is run so option c says that both fly and run are correct and option d tells us that none of these none of these option a option b option c all these are wrong option d says that all the other three options are wrong none of these not even a single one out of all these is correct that is what option d tells us so advait tell me what do you think is the correct answer the option animal c. in the picture option c option c both a and b so you mean to say that the dragon can both fly and run do you feel that yes yes very good you are absolutely right see the dragon has wings so it can fly fly and the dragon has feet so it can run run so the correct answer is both a and b very good advai correct option is c let us write the correct answer b o t h both a and a n d and b both a and b the animal in the picture can both a and b is the correct answer so we have written it as it is given in the option it actually means both fly and run did everyone understand it okay yeah thank you advait ritika unmute and read question number 3 dash is a two, suitable ad, adjective for the animal in the picture hmm. for the animal r sound is not needed for for the, the animal. animal in the picture yes read the options option a tiny mm. option b angry option c orange mm. option d green 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 okay ritika can you tell me the meaning of this word adjective 
What are adjectives? Uh, uh, work. Uh, work. Adjectives. What are adjectives? If you don't know, you can tell me that. No worries at all. I don't know. You don't know. Is there anybody else who knows what are adjectives? It's okay. It is absolutely fine. We all are learning here, right? Anybody else? Yes, Parvati. What are adjectives? Uh, um, what that specifies now? Mm, very good. Words that specify or describe the noun are called adjectives. So these words can also be called as describing words. But what is describe? What do you understand by describe? To specify, describe. These are big words. Do you know what they mean? Yeah. Yeah, what is it? Describe. Ex to explain. Yes, very good. To tell us more about someone or something. In simpler words, describe means to tell us more about someone or something. For example, I will give you a small example. Parvati is wearing a red t-shirt today or frock, frock, right? It's a frock. Parvati is yeah. wearing a red frock today. Now, what is the adjective here? Red. What does it describe? Dress. The frock, yes, perfect. Did yes. you understand? Yes. Yes, so what are adjectives? Adjectives are? Describing no, words, describing words that tell us more about someone or something. Did everyone else understand? Those who are listening will understand. Yes, I can see thumb, some thumbs up. Good. Okay, thank you, Parvati. Thank now, you, me, You didn't tell me the answer, I think. No, Ritika. you didn't. Oh, yes, yes, I was asking her, right? Okay, okay, thank you for reminding. Yes, Ritika, read um, the options again. A, tiny. Yeah. The option B, angry. Very good. Option C, orange. Mm. Option D, green. Mm. Green. Green. Green, yes. Green. Mm. Mm. Option C, orange. Yes, very good. You are right. Ritika, can you tell me the meaning of the first option? A, option A. Small. Yes, tiny means small. So the correct answer is option C, orange. O-R-A-N-G-E. Orange. Orange is a suitable adjective for the animal in the picture. The dragon is orange in color. Thank you, Ritika. Wilfred, unmute and read question number four. The animal has a dash of wings. Mm. How many wings does the dragon have, Wilfred? Two. Two, yes. Now read the options. Read the options. Yeah, read. Option A. Option A. Mm -hmm. P E A R pair pair mm. option, option B, B. P A I R pair mm. no that's also read as pair 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 mm. option C option C read the spelling B A 
R E. Mm. Here also the pronunciation is pear. Pear. Mm. And option D. Option D. Mm. Pear. Mm. Pear. Yes, pear. pear. Okay. Now you have told me that the dragon has two wings, right? Yes. Yes. Two wings, a set of two. Anything that comes in a set of two is called a pair. 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 Uh, for pair. example, when we go out, we wear two shoes, right? Yes. That means a pair of shoes. A pair, two, pair. a set of two. So pair. now all these four words given here have similar pronunciation. Okay. Now you need yes. to choose the answer with the correct spelling. Which, which pair will be the correct answer here? Look at it carefully, very carefully. Try to read, check. Which word here means a set of two? Option A. Option A, P E A R. Sorry, my dear, that is the name of a fruit. This word P-E-A-R, pear, is actually the name of a fruit. Try to choose another option. Read the spellings, all the spellings. I have told all of you many times to read lots of books, right? If you read books, you will come across such words. Try to do that. Option C. No, my dear, that's a wrong word. Option B. B. Yes, option B. B A I R. That means a set of two things. A pair of things. The correct option is option B. The animal has a pair of things. P-A-I-R. Pair. Pair of things. Okay, Wilfred. Good. Thank you. Santom, unmute. Read question number five. Santom, unmute. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Read question number five. The animal in mm. the picture looks. Mm. W E A K. Weak. 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 The. Mm. Opposite. 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 Mm. Of. Option. Mm. Of. The opposite of. Mm. The opposite of. Weeks. Is. Mm. Dash. The opposite of week is. Dash. Option A. Mm. Weeks. Weeksly? Mm, not weeksly. S is not there. Weekly. Weekly. Mm. Option B. Read it, Santom. Advait PM I'm sit properly. You and unweak, yes. Option C. Poor. Poor, not poor. 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 Tor. Option D. Option D. Tor. No, wait, wait, wait. S T S T R O N G. Wrong. Strong. 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 Mm. 
Now, first you have to tell me the meaning of this word, W-E-A-K. Do you know its meaning? Weak. No. Okay, Santom. When we are having fever or we are not keeping well, how do we feel? So bad. So bad, right? We feel as if we don't have any energy inside us, right? Yes. Yes, that situation is called weak. We feel weak, having no energy, weak. Okay, now okay, what you need to do in this question is, you have to find the opposite. Opposite means another word which has completely different meaning than the given word. Energy. Completely different word, completely different meaning. Hmm. I told you that weak means no energy or very less energy. So what will be its opposite? Completely different. Strong. Having lots of energy, strength, right? So strength. what is the answer? Option D. Option D, strong, very good. You have understood you, what I was trying to explain to you and given the answer. Good job, good boy, thank you. The correct answer is strong. So please understand the two words, weak, W-E-A-K, weak and strong are opposite words, opposite. They have completely different meanings. Did everyone understand the concept of opposites? Okay. When you go to the higher classes, you will learn many more such examples. Okay. Have you been able to write all the answers? Yes. Let us go to the next part. Picture two. Observe it carefully. Please observe the picture carefully. Picture two. Look at the picture below and answer the following questions. Nihel, unmute your device and read question number one. There is a dash in the boat. Hmm. Options A, ferry. Hmm. Option B, boy. Option C, old man. Option D, dog. Okay. Option A, ferries. Yes. Sorry? Ferry. Ferry, yes. We have learned the meaning of the word ferry in one of the earlier lessons. Do you remember, Nihel? Mama. I think a book for my mother. Yes. In the poem, the word fairy was there. We have learned the meaning also. Yes. Do you remember what a fairy is? Your answer is absolutely right. Don't worry about that. I'm just asking you some extra information. There is a fairy in the boat. There is a fairy in the boat. Option A. Anybody else remembers the meaning of fairy? Anyone else remembers the meaning of fairy? Yes, Albrin. Yes, ma'am. What are fairies? So who are fairies? Fairies. Fairies are? Not fairies. Fairies. Mm -hmm. Fairies are? Fairies are? Mm -hmm. I saw you raising your hand. Yes, ma'am. Fairies are little creatures. Fairies little or creatures. small creatures with? With wings. With wings, yes. And they can do? Magic. Magic, yes, definitely. Very good. Okay, Albert, why don't you read question number two for me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. How are in? Uh uh. In H E R E. Her here. Here hmm. is inside a, a dash. Not a. A, a dash. Hmm. The house Option here B. is inside a dash. Options? Option A, tree. Option B, mushroom. Option C, 
Break it and read it, Albrin. Tunnel. The tunnel, yes. Tunnel. Option D. Garden. Garden. Option Garden. B. Mushroom. Mushroom. Yes, you're right. Very good. Thank you, Albrin. You're welcome. The correct answer is option B. Mushroom. The house here is inside a mushroom. The house here is inside a mushroom. Tirtha, read question number three. She has a... W-A-N-D. Want. On dash her hand. Hmm. This is the want. Sorry, one second. It's a long stick with a star on it. And the fairy does magic with the help of this wand. Magic wand. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. Now choose the positional word. Option, Read the options. Option A on. Option B over. Uh, option C at. Option B in. 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 She has a wand in her hand. Right. Very good. Thank the, you, ma'am. Welcome. The correct option is option D. And the correct answer is in. She has a wand in her hand. In her hand. Okay. Jennifer, read question number four. The last round object seen in the sky is the dash. Option A, moon. Option B, star. Option C, sun. Option D, cloud. Okay. Have a look at the image. What time of the day is it, Jennifer? Night. Night. So what is the name of this? Heavenly body? Moon. Moon, yes. We can see the shining moon in the sky. And some twinkling stars are also seen, right? Yes. Yes. So it is night time. The correct answer is option A. And the correct answer is the moon. M. Oops. M O O N. M O O N. Thank you, Jennifer. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Chitra, read up the fifth one. In the picture, the dash are... Can't hear. Sorry. In I can't hear you. Hello? Yeah, better, better. Continue, please. In the picture, mm. the dash are pink. Mm. Uh, A, flowers, yes. B, flowers, mm -hmm. C, flowers, mm -hmm. D, flowers. Mm -hmm. Confusing, right? <laughs> C, flowers. Very good. Let's have a look at the picture. What are pink? Yeah, these okay. things over here are beautiful and pink in color, right? What are these? Flowers. 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 So the correct spelling is? F-L-O-W-E-R-S. S. F-L-O-W-E-R-S. Very good, my dear. And the correct option is? C. C. Option C. Thank you. Well done. Hope all of you have been able to mark the answers and write them down correctly. All of you have done it? Yeah. Santom, where are you? Yes, Krishna has completed. Okay, may I stop sharing? I want to see your books. Yeah.
Haya, please take the pencil out of your mouth. Who is this Anvika? I want to see your face, my dear. Oh, Arnav. Okay, okay. Okay, Arnav, fine. Anurag, yes. Bennett, Bennett, hold the book properly. Advait PM. Nihil, where is your book? Haya, where is your book? Android, Bhagishri, show me the books. Anurag, yes, my dear, I saw. Good. Siddhi Vinayak, okay, good. Bhagishri, yes. Bennett, yes. Wilfred, Advait PS. Arjun Krishna, Meenakshi, yes. Wilfred, where is your book? Azariya, yes. Krishna, yes. Mitra, yes. Parvati, yes. Joseph Sebi, where is your book? Nihel, yes. Haya, show me the book properly. Ritika, yes. Jennifer, yes. Arjun is writing. Tirtha, yes. Wilfred, yes. Joseph Sebi, yes. Siddhivinayak, I saw your book, my dear. I called out your name. Muhammad Ali, Niveed, show me the book. Jennifer, yes, my dear. Yes, Arjun, yes. Okay. So do you have any doubts from both these exercises that we have done today? Is there something that you have not understood? But still, I Haya, put the device properly. I can see you upside down from here. Turn it and keep it properly. Niveed, yes. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please go through all these questions and the options. There are some difficult words. So try to read them. If you find anything difficult or confusing, you can ask me in the next class. Make a note of it and you can ask me in the next class. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.